if you want to know how you can make your own custom chat filter in Roblox like this one, where if I type a couple of custom bad words such as newbie, panda, discord, and I press enter, they all get hashtag. You're going to have to watch this video also to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a custom chat filter. What I mean with that, you know that Roblox has its own um, filter system. So if you say a bad word, it uh, changes to hashtags. So with this video, uh, you're going to learn how you can do that for custom words. So for example, if you don't want someone to say loser, you can filter that out now with my tutorial and the code behind it. So it's going to be an epic tutorial. I want to give a shout out to TigerBlocks for helping me out. We spent like an hour trying to fix this system because it was pretty complex. But we got it. And uh, thank you TigerBlocks for helping. Thank you so much. And um, if you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell to never miss out on anything I upload. And make sure to become a member by pressing the blue join button down below. Just like that. All I can say is that without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So first of all, there is no free model this time. <laughs> no, there's no free model this time. Um, you want to click play. You're like, what? Newbie, what? What are you playing for? Oh, I'm going to show you. You over here, you're in your game now. Whoa, very cool game. E-dance. I can dance now. La, 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 la. Nobody cares. You want to click on current and then client. And then you want to go to service script service and copy the chat service runner. So copy this again, you know, copy or control C like that. And then just click stop. Then go to service script service and paste it in just like that. Just paste it. Chat service runner, paste it. Now you want to open that script up and we're going to immediately code. So local revamped message is equals to speech merge. There's nothing in it. Local uh, tags is equals to nothing. It's going to be empty too. Like that. Yes, it's just going to be empty. Don't worry about it. It's just going to be empty. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to drop to line 182. Oh, 85. 85. And you want to uh, remove this line. And now you're empty. So the game, if you would play the game right now, you would not get any message if you type something. Like literally, it, you don't get anything. Trust me. Now, first of all, we need to make a table. And what that is, that contains some strings or values. Uh, in, this, in this tutorial, it's going to be strings. So local bad words is equal to a table. So the cur curved brackets, curly brackets, whatever you want to call them. And a bad word is loser. And also discord, for example, or um, panda watch. I don't know, just do anything you want. So if you don't want someone to say panda, you can now filter that out. But now we only got the table. And we need to code the rest. So what we're going to do is local chat is equals to string dot split. So we're going to split the message uh, you're typing into different words. So the script can recognize which word is a bad one in the custom filter. String dot split. Let's see. We need to split our message into speech marks with an empty space. So that means every message will get its own, um, yeah, kind of like position. After that, we need to make sure the revamped message is always nothing because we're going to edit that later on. And then when the function gets called again, we need to make sure it's empty. Now here is the tricky part. So for I equals one comma hashtag tag do, uh, not tag chat. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Because it's a hashtag. Okay, sorry. So for i equals one comma hashtag chat do. What this does is we're going to get the numbers of it. Now we're going to find out if that is a bad word. So we're going to find it in our bad word table. So if table that find in the bad words table like that. And if we find chat and then in uh, square brackets i. So which is like the, the, the word. If we find that word in the bad word table, but first we're going to lower it because lower means uh, that uh, if you would type loser in caps, it's going to turn it always down to like uh, undercast, undercast, whatever you want to call it, uh, like the, the lower things, you know, you get the point. 
So that's what we're going to do to make sure we always can filter it out, which is really good. So if your if the bad word is in your message, then we're going to filter it out. So tags is we're going to make sure tags is again nothing because we need to make sure we can always edit tags. Local number is equals to hashtag and then in a uh, square uh, in normal brackets. No, my bad. In normal brackets, sp uh, string dot split. And we're going to split the chat I again. And we're going to split it in speech mark with no space. So over here we did a space. Over here we did not do a space. Okay. Then uh, what we're going to do, we're going to count the amount of uh, numbers it has. So for example, Discord has seven letters. So we're going to let the script know that it has seven letters. And then we can, um, you know, put a hashtag for each of the seven letters. Which, may, which means like... It just looks cooler, okay? So for i equals one, comma number do, and we are not gonna do hashtag number because over here we already did a hashtag. So for i equals one, comma number do, and then tags is equals to tags dot dot with a hashtag, like that. And then you want to uh, drop down so uh, to this end over here. If tags is other than nothing. Because over here, we're checking if there's a bad word. And then if there's their bad word, we're going to edit it. So we're making sure that uh, it has been changed. And if that's true, then we're going to send the uh, edited message. So if tags, uh, oh, sorry, my bad. Revamped message is equals to revamped message, dot, dot. And then a speech marks with a space between it. And then dot, dot, tags. So what this does, this is your normal message. And then this is the hashtags of it. Okay, all that nonsense. And after we sent a um, an, a revamped message, then we're going to set the tags to nothing again so we can edit it again. But if we didn't filter anything, so if you did not say any of the bad words in this table, then we're just going to do nothing. We're just going to send your actual message. So revamped message is equals to the revamped message and then dot dot with, again, this speech marks like that and then dot dot chat square bracket I. So this is your actual message, and we're going to send that. And this one is a filtered one with tags, because over here we are editing it. Look, we're editing it, just like that. And then we want to drop down two ends, so one, two, over here. And all we want to type now is return speaker, colon, say message, revamp message, into the channel. And what this does, I have no idea. All this does is uh, send the message, the revamp one. Over here we're setting it. And then over here, we're sending it on the actual game. So this is how you make a custom chat filter. What I'm going to do now, yeah, that's right. I'm going to test it out. So one of the words was panda. So um, I love panda, for example, that. So if we type enter, as you can see, I love, yeah, what do I love? Yeah, hashtags. Hmm. So what happens? Join my Discord. And as you can see, again, it gets tagged. But what if I put it in front of the sentence? Discord is a cool platform. Discord is a cool platform. Enter. As you can see, now it gets tagged on the front of the code. And if you always want to add another filtered word, scroll down till you see this table over here. And then just, uh, for example, let's type uh, newbie. So I just added it in, as you can see. And if I say the word newbie, it's going to filter newbie. So, uh, newbie, enter. As you can see, it filters it out. So, hello, newbie. I am a newbie fan. I don't know what I'm saying, but as you can see, two times hashtag. So, this is a quick tutorial on how you can make your custom chat filter in case you want to filter any bad words, uh, custom, for example, your real name or anything else. So if you did, in fact, enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member, do anything you want, subscribe, anything. Um, all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out. <laughs>